What's up guys, welcome back. Thanks for following along the uh, PW80 series here. Looks like we got video number three and we're still not running. So, after the last video we did a top end and we had some issues with the crankshaft. So, we're going to split the case here today and we're going to see what we got going on inside there. Hopefully order any parts or, or fix anything we can and get it back together and see what we got. Alright, let's get going. So first thing, took the uh, oil out, now we went and took the cover off, now we're going to pull the clutch, I already have it halfway off, I figured I'd start filming now. All you do is take your, uh, this nut off, I believe it's a 22 millimeter. take your nut, washer, then your clutch just slides right off like that, and you can slide, I don't know the technical terms to all these things, but you can slide that off, set it down next to that, then you can pull your kickstart off. We already had that off before. Set that down. All right. Next, we're gonna take the uh, primary gear, primary drive off. Uh, normally, you would just leave a cloth between the clutch and this, but ours is stuck, so I don't see anything stopping us <coughs> or letting it run freely. So, <laughs> actually, came off super easy. So we'll take that out. Set that down. We should be able to pull everything off. I'll put an order on my pad here how it should go back on. drive off thought this last washer came off but all right we're good there so now we're set with the primary drive gear all right next thing we're gonna do we're take off the internal shifter uh, first step is to take a clip off on the other side and when you go around to the other side you'll notice there isn't actually a clip, it's a hose clamp. So we're definitely not the first person to break into this. I'm guessing we're probably gonna find a few more things that we shouldn't find in here. So we'll get that off, we'll get the shift mechanism off, and we'll go from there. All right, well the other side here, get this Hose clamp off, should definitely be a uh, C clamp here. So we'll get this off. Not only is there a hose clamp on there, there's <laughs> a bunch of wire wrapped around. Let's see if I bring it back over and show you that. So we had the hose clamp there. We also got some, looks like some wire wrapped into that little. Uh, groove. So we'll get that out. I'm gonna have to replace that. And get that out of there. Alright, and that was it. It's just a piece of wire wrapped in the groove. Kind of genius, but also definitely not the right thing. So we'll throw that down on the pad. Okay, battery died, but we got the uh, shift mechanism off. Uh, pretty straightforward. Next thing we're gonna get is the stopper lever. I already started a little bit bolt right here. This shoulder bolt just comes out. Pull that out, and then you can pull that lever out. So let's get that out. Spring. Bolt and lever comes right out. Alright, we'll spin this around and we'll get our flywheel puller on. I'm going to try and use a uh, gear puller. Um, if not, we'll go ahead and uh, order that dirt bike flywheel puller tool 
but we'll try what we got first. So let's spin it around. All right, next thing we're gonna get is a flywheel. Uh, I don't have this special tool, but we have a flywheel puller. And I kind of fashioned it into, it used to be straight armed. And I bent the arms to fit it perfect around the flywheel here. Make sure it hooks in good. And we got it lined up. And it did the job perfect. Uh, it actually flew off when I did it. But just shows you don't need a super special tool. I mean, same price. This is, I think, 10 bucks. I had a discount code for, I found online at uh, Advance Auto. So we got the flywheel off. Now we'll keep going. All right, next we'll get the stator plate off. Two Phillips heads here. Let's see if we can get that off quick. These are just number twos. Hopefully. There's one. There's two. Now the plate should come off. And there's our whole stator. Uh, there we go. So we'll pull that off, set that on our pallet here. All right, and now we got everything off. Now we're gonna be able to uh, split the case. All right, I didn't show getting the sprocket off. Real easy, snap ring pliers. Come in, get it there, pop it off. Sprocket pulls right off. All right, now we got everything off. We'll get it kind of cleaned up so we can get to all of the screws. I can't remember how many there are, but those definitely say that they're a number three Phillips. So we'll try and get to all of them. I'll let you know how many there are, and we'll get them all off. All right, to get the case screws, it's going to be ten. We got one, two, three, four, five, six back there in the dirt, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Um... They should all be the same size, but it says draw an outline and, and put, put them where they go. All right, so I drew a little mock-up, kind of where the screws are. And each one I take out, I'll put on that spot. So we'll go a quarter return at a time, starting at one, we'll go all the way around to 10, and then keep going back. Uh, we're gonna use an impact, but we're gonna make sure not to bring them out too far as we go. So I'm gonna set this on the table, and then once I get started getting them out, we'll put each one on the sheet. So we'll start here. Just kidding. We'll start up here. Here's number one for me. There's about a quarter turn. Number two. A quarter turn. Go to three. Uh, this one's a little beat up, this one. So I was hoping that the impact would help. But I have a little trouble with that one. Definitely not the first person in this case. So we'll go there. Four. That's actually five. Six. Down here. Seven. And then. That one's already loose. <laughs> Nine. And, and then ten. So we all got them all broken free. So now we'll just get a screwdriver get them all out and then we're gonna have to focus on that one that one's pretty stripped it was stripped when I started I was hoping that the impact would help um, it was in pretty bad shape so we're gonna game plan with that so let's get the rest off all right we'll get these out and then we'll worry about the uh, stripped one there at the top so what we're gonna do is take it out one at a time and we'll put them on our paper where they go. So, pull one out. Put it over on one. The picture's a little small, so I put the heads on the number. And then we'll just go around, get these other eight off, and then we'll come up with something to get this guy off.
All right, so what we're gonna do to get this top one off, I wish we had a uh, hammer impact uh, screwdriver. But what we're gonna do first, we're gonna just try and punch it into form with the, with the bit we're gonna use, and then we'll try to get it off with it. So, same idea if you had the punch, or the impact screwdriver. So it left a pretty good indent. So we'll see if we can toss it on here. Just get a good bite out of it. Ah, there it was. Came right free. So it's a pretty mangled bit. It's not terrible. I've seen way worse. But we might replace that. So we got all 10 off. So I'll get this back on over on the sheet and we'll get it split up. Just a quick look at the sheet. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Put the head on them, and then that's how they'll all go back in. I think I said earlier they're all the same size. It looks like we got about three different sizes. Maybe only two different sizes. This one might be the only one that's different. So that's what the sheet looks like. So we'll get back, get the case split. All right, last thing we need to do before we get it split is pull the reed valve, all the intake out. So we'll pull that off. Just four Phillips, number threes again. We'll use the impact, get them out quick, and we'll be ready to split the cases. All right, got the uh, puller set on. This one's a bolt type wheel set. I got two bolts in the holes, and I got the center on. So we're gonna give it a try. Never really used one of these before. But let's see what we can do. Oh, I can already see the case opening. Let's see how I rotate it this way. The front end's opening good. The back's staying a little close. So let's double check and make sure we got everything out. Looks like it. So we'll go a little more. I don't want to go too far, just in case. I'll turn that around so you can see. It's definitely opening up on the front. Check this side, make sure I got everything out. Looks like it. So we'll keep going a little bit. I'm not gonna go crazy, just in case. But, just keep rotating. Oh, and she slipped out. Let it back on, and we'll keep going. Sounds like the back cracked open there. There it goes. I can see it. Turn it back around. Cracked open, so we got the case. Opened up. Decent success. I hope we'll be able to see why we're having so many issues there. All right, now it's freely moving. I can just split it with my hand. So I'm gonna go ahead, take the unit off. All right, so I'm gonna lay it down this way. And I'm gonna pull this side off first. Let that lay flat. So there's one half. Set that down. All right, so now we got it up. Take everything out. This looks like the shifter. Put that down. Put the transmission out. 
I'm gonna take a quick picture so we don't forget what it looks like. I got the book, but this might help a little more too. So. Picture. We got that. Now I'll take this out. It's the transmission side. Take that out. All that looks pretty good. Set that down. Take the top shifter arm out. That looks pretty good. I need another tool to get these out, I'm not sure. But I don't think our problem is here. I think our problem is here in our camshaft. All right, so after checking, I didn't check the spec, but I found that this can rub all the way to the one side and almost all the way to the other. So I think our problem is gonna be in here. I think there should be some kind of washer on one of these sides. So we'll check the manual and it looks like this is going to be our culprit. So we'll get that, we'll get that figured out and we'll get a new one in if we have to. And the last thing, there we go. Push it up from the bottom. Oh, there's a pin. Get all our gears out. Get them all set down. All right, so here's what it looks like down on the pads. I like to use puppy pads. They stay white and it'll help you keep the grease contained. So I think our problem is gonna be somewhere in there, the crank or the connecting rod, or maybe at the tip of the case, I hope not, but we'll find out. We'll uh, use our book here, we'll check all the specs. Which I think it's gonna have to do with the free play or play in that whole cranking rod. All right, after checking all that and seeing all the play come inside the actual case, I've done this once or twice already, and we can see the actual metal shavings off the connecting rod still inside the case. Some there and some here. So we're gonna go ahead and order a new uh, whole crankshaft assembly uh, off Amazon. It's uh, called Niche or Niche. Um, that's 65 bucks. Uh, instead of the OEM, that's 165 bucks. So we got that ordered. Um, we're gonna go ahead and order the shifter lever, washer, and C-clip. If you remember, ours was held on by a wire and a hose clamp. So we'll get that ordered. And when all that comes in, we'll get all this washed and we'll get it back together. So stay tuned for the next one. Hopefully we should have all our parts in, have all this clean, and we can go ahead and put it all back together, back on the bike, and maybe finally, finally get to ride it. Tune in next time, thanks for watching.